I'm Cody Schneider. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, write articles entirely by AI that will rank page one. Here's an example a website I own, CBD Content Writing, is the keyword we're targeting, and it shows up there. And this was entirely generated by AI and ranks. So let's dive in. All right. So to begin with, uh, you're going to have to do some keyword research. And then what we're going to do to do that is use ChatGPT. I found it to be pretty effective. Um, so when I'm trying to promote a tool or something, I'm just going to uh, basically take all of the copy from ChatGPT and then I'm going to drop that in and say, uh, do keyword research for the following list 100 keyword ideas. And it's going to start generating those. All right, so from here, I'm going to try to identify keywords um, that are related to the product. And there's a bunch of, be, a bunch of these. Um, the thing uh, that we do, or like what this product does, is writing. So we're going to look for anything related to write um, and then look for anything related to content. Um, let's see. Anything so it doesn't really have anything related to write that it suggested. Let's do content, yeah, a ton of content related ones. So, like content creation as an example, or content strategy might be a good one as well. So, once I've found this one, uh, we'll say content strategy. What I'll then go do is I will search it and I'm going to use this Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. It's super cheap, there's a free version as well. Um, I'm going to use keywords everywhere, and then I'm also going to use SEMrush and show you two different ways to do this. SEMrush is a kind of more expensive pay tool. Keywords everywhere is uh, the poor man's version of it. Um, but we want to give you options, baby, because that's the world that we live in. We need options. All right. So what we're going to do then um, is search that again. We're waiting for this Chrome extension to actually generate. Once it's done that, I'm going to hit find long tail keywords. So now... Keywords Everywhere is going to find all the long tail keywords related to content strategy. So while that's running in the background, I'm going to do the same thing on um, SEMrush. So content strategy. And then what I'm going to look for is broad match keywords that have a low keyword difficulty. Um, so stuff that I know I can rank for just like really quickly and really easily. Right. The reason we're going after these lower uh, these low keyword difficulty is it's just gonna be a way easier uh, uh, keyword for us to rank for with that AI content. Um, so a lot of these are location-based. Um, we're not really looking for that. We're looking for more um, of something that's like, would be related to whatever the product or services that we're trying to sell. If you're just trying to do a content site, you could do this you know, entirely, uh, or you could do all of these keyword phrases. Um, like if you're just trying to get as much traffic as possible, but. Again, I'm looking at uh, more, so this is great. So content supply chain strategy, right? Or um, let's see, I wonder if there's like content strategy for, let's see if that anything comes up for that. Bingo, cool. So like content strategy for nonprofits. This is a perfect one. Um, and we'll also do, we could also do like content strategy for SaaS, content strategy for inbound. So content strategy for nonprofits, that'll be the one that we'll use today. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to search for that keyword and I'm going to find the top ranking listings, right? So it's like content, constant contact, shorthand, shorthand, and donor box. And let's just Let's get five of them. Um, and the reason that I'm pulling these um, is what I'm basically doing is I'm going to use all of the content from these pages. And that is going to be my source material uh, for what I want the AI to write on. So why are we even why are we using this as a source material? Why am I not just prompting the AI to start writing? Well, the reason for that is because we already know that this content ranks currently. And so because it ranks right now, Google is basically telling us, hey, this is good. This is a like, good answer for that query. And so by giving it that source material for us to use uh, or for the AI to write uh, about base, you know, basically like saying, hey, here's the constraints for you. Like this, the, the things that we know are most likely to rank on uh, page one for Google. Um, we're basically creating a stronger likelihood for us to actually rank for that keyword. So. I just took those top three, I dropped them in. Again, I'm gonna go 
take that keyword content strategy for nonprofits. Before I do that, I'm just gonna show you that same, uh, same thing, uh, but within keywords everywhere. So uh, I'm gonna just stop this search and uh, then we can go and I'm gonna filter by competition. It's the same idea. And what we're looking for is just low competition keywords. And so the higher this number, the harder it is for us, uh, or the harder it's going to be for us to rank. Um, so like content, uh, let's see, content strategy e-commerce would be a great one. It's got a low keyword volume though. So I'm not sure if I would really focus on that. I want at least a little bit of search volume um, with something I'm writing for. Uh, so maybe once I got into this range, so yeah, content strategy for mobile maybe, or um, let's do something. Uh, this content strategy workflow would be another great one. So anyways, we're gonna use this nonprofit one. That's two different ways that we can do this now. Um, the two different tools, the two different price points. But once I have basically identified that keyword on them and I say, I'm gonna prompt the AI and why I'm using Claude is it has a larger token limit. So I can give it a lot more context information for it to write to. Um, why does this matter? Um, if I try to do this with ChatGPT and do that same, like all of that text that I just provided, it's gonna basically say, hey, we don't have enough. Uh, like you're, 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 it, the input is too long. Um, and so Claude basically allows for us to give more of that context um, uh, uh, or provide that context for the AI. And so now what I'm going to do is paste in that keyword and then I'm gonna say, uh, write a blog post uh, write a detailed blog post outline based on the following text about content strategy or about the keyword content strategy for nonprofits. And then I'm gonna hit go and it's gonna start writing this blog post outline. So the reason we're writing this blog post outline first is what we're trying to do is basically give the AI the really the skeleton of what it's about to write to. If I just try to one shot, like writing in a, an article, it's not gonna be as thorough and as well-defined um, as asking for the outline beforehand. Um, so again, asking for that outline and now um, it's almost at its uh, completion. So once I've done this, I then am going to take that same outline. And actually I think with Claude, you can just prompt it like this. So I can go and say, um, now write an extremely uh, detailed blog post about uh, or based on this outline. Make it, uh, we'll say 2000 words long. Um, it's gonna write about a 1500 word article even though I tell it to write 2000 words. And so now what it's going to do is keep all of this information in its context and it's gonna start writing. And so what this does again, is it basically generates a piece of content that has a strong likelihood to rank because we're providing it source materials that already rank. And this is how you basically get AI to uh, generate content uh, or SEO content that has a strong likelihood of, of going to page one. So the checklist that we again went through is we find keywords related to the brand or the, pro the product or service that we're trying to promote. We then um, uh, basically, uh, um, we created that blog post outline after we validated that keyword. Um, we found the posts that were already ranking and then we had it write this article. And so I'm gonna pause while this is generating uh, and I'll come back and show you the word count that this produces. All right, it's about 30 seconds later and I'm gonna copy that, go over to word counter. Uh, com and we're going to paste that in and you're going to see a 1400 word article and so this is um, basically how you can write that content for free at scale uh, using ai that uh, creates a high likelihood that you're going to rank page one cool uh, i need your help tell me what content to make in the comments uh, what workflows do you want to see what do you want to learn and uh, yeah so excited to do more of these cheers